time to put some music on and we're going to get going. Um, all our workouts with Sleep Ballet Fitness are all redesigned below lean muscles without any bulk whatsoever. So we'll be working each muscle group systematically and then lengthening it out after that. Um, I've got a lovely view of all of you. Let me just check. I'll pop you all in. Okay, lovely ladies, gents, let's do this. Everyone on YouTube, welcome if you're coming in. I'm gonna pop some music on right now and let's get going. That is it tonight. Uh, just while everyone else is logging in, oh, it's lovely to see you too. Thank you very much for the waves, everybody, and on YouTube too, if you're joining me. Again, if you're just coming in, all we're going to need is a mat, a little bit of water if you want. We want to work out each muscle group systematically and then lengthen it out. Okay, let's do this. All right, don't be fooled by the very chilled out start. We are gonna get a little bit of sweat up. We're gonna earn this stretch. Let's do this. Put one of those arms just behind the head. You're not gonna need any dance experience tonight, ladies. I'll shout out some terminology a little bit here and there as we go along, but that's it. You're gonna feel lovely and lean. Let's take a little bend down to the side and dip into that waist. So stretch out to your side. Hold it there, then bend to the knees, wrap the elbows round the head. On the recovery, press those elbows back, chest to ceiling, over up, and back to the knee, second side. Elbow into waist, leg and out. Rolling forward, elbows in, contract, making a C shape in your upper back. Open up, and take the shoulders down, and roll them back for one. Back for two. So we're releasing tension in that very held, common area. Lots of typing, lots of texting. Good, manipulate gently between those shoulders. Now elongate the stretch. Grab hold of those elbows, drawing back. Contract. Little deeper now. Send those arms up above your head. Slide the hand between your scapula. Up and over, stretch it out. Well done. As you come up this time, Flex the hand back, grab your fingers, straighten out into the elbow, lengthen out all those texting muscles, and release. Second side, other elbow on top, contract. Swing those arms up and back, behind your head. Send one hand down between your scapula, lengthen up and over, stretch out, and recover. Flex those fingers, grab the wrist, lengthen out, Stretch the elbow, hold for four, three. Now releasing this hand back, circle up and back, fully straighten arms now. Start to raise that heart rate gently. Well done, four more. Three, two, and final time. Fully extended levers, grab those hands, draw the tummy back so you're really making a C shape. Drop the head, and then in the reverse, press the palms back behind you, like the bow of the ship. If you can, interlace them, stretch across, shoulder point to shoulder point. One more time, set that tummy back. And again, on the release, clasp those hands behind you. Now add a little step. Drop the arm back, up and back. Pad through the feet, little lunge, side to side, up and back, up and back. Now we're going for a full swing now. Send the arms forward and back above your head. Take it down, release chest spirals. Forward, and release, two more. Swing, and release. Swing, now step your tiny legs, reach towards the seat. Lengthen out from hips to fingers. Stretch and lengthen out that torso, hold the last one here. Flex the palm, grab the wrist, and lengthen out from your hip to the heel of your hand. Well done, again, swing, and release. Swing. And release, two more. Four and five, over across that chest. 
final time, start your turbot hand, reach towards the sink. Pad for one, pad for two, for three. Last one, flex alternate palm, grab the wrist, lengthen out and stretch from your hip bone to the sole of your hand. Good, coming up. One more inch of length through that torso before you release. Now working to parallel and turn out, we take a little bend and curl to the side. Then using turn out, deep plie. Again, to the opposite side. And find a plie. Give me four. And press. Here's three. And press. Good, swing release. Deep plie in second. Last one, plie, hold it here, step to the side. Now sweep this arm to the side, open shoulder point to shoulder point. Swing the arm back and rotate from the waist. Again, up and back, swing looking back. And final time, swing it round, bring the elbow through. Again, fingertips to shoulders, up and back. Good, feel a little easy now, a little warmer. Now extend those arms, our first classical position, arabesque to arabesque, shaking those shoulders and back, and into the waist, final one, can you straighten up on your supporting leg, transfer away from the front toe, lift the leg and turn down arabesque, so we're engaging these glutes, press those shoulders down, hold for four more, find a balance and focus, second side, again we swing, and release, take it forward, and open second, Twice more. And deep plie, work those big muscle groups in the thighs. And hold, step and drop, hold one. Looking back. So you're gonna twist from the waist, bring that body round. Again, up and back. Nice inhale and exhale. Last one, continue, fingertips to shoulders. Good, gentle manipulation between those shoulder blades. Now find your arabesque line, arm cups through. Great, the turning into the back, into the backs of the arms, and into the waist. Transfer weight onto your front leg, lift the toe. Engage your glute, hold for eight, seven, six, five. Press those shoulders down. Then one more time, swing to this side, and release deep plie. Last one. Hold it here, now stretch it up. Demi plie and pull up. Good, massage into those legs. And stretch, take those arms a little higher, breath. Legs and arms acting like the lungs. Deep breath in and out. Well done, final one. Take your demi plie, hold it here. Now transfer the weight to one leg. Up and over and transfer, massaging through those calves. Again, up and over and transfer. Kneading through those feet and legs. The final one, you take a big pull de bras up and over as so we start to work our core now. Stretch and hold it here. Add the weight of the second arm to really engage your center. Hold it there. One more time, release it off. And final time, join that arm in second position. Well done, press those shoulders down. Really feel your core engaged. Fuete turn to face the corner. We're on a classical turned out lunge. We take a big breath, fill those lungs, and as you exhale out, classical forward pour de bras over your front leg. Bring the arms up through fifth position, and as you get to this position, a long diagonal from the top of your head to your heel, strengthening that lower back, and then release. Again, deep breath in, exhale out, over we go, over that front leg. Sweep the arms up to your fifth, hover hold. hold and then release, come right back. Now pull up onto this front leg, bring the back leg through to the front, bring your arms up to fifth position, drop your front arm again, fill those lungs, now add that forward and back pull rod together, sweeping circular pull rod to the side, back, round. Well done, transfer forward, deep breath in, exhale out, sweep it forward, sweep it round, side, back, well done, pulling up into your front leg. Spiral round, knee to knee, toe to bottom. Leg up, quad the leg you've just been standing on. Hold for four. Find a focus point, knee to knee. 
spiral that energy up towards the ceiling. Then stepping back to your second position, step inside from the top to the end. And a stretch for two. Two more arms higher, open fit, above your head, shoulders down. Now take a plie, hold it here, transfer through the feet, massage up and over and transfer. Good, up and over and transfer, up and over, final time, add the core rush, sweep it, up and over, so we're engaging our core here, press those shoulders down, and your second arm, you'll feel the weight of the second arm, fire the core up even more, one more time, release and engage, take your fuerte, so you pivot to face the corner of your room, again, fill those lungs, energize that body, oh you go, those arms up through fifth. Hold it there if you can. Any back problems, just come upright and go straight into your combre. If you can, hold there with me for a quick four counts. So we strengthen those multilith muscles. The muscles either side of our spine, so great for securing our posture while we're working this front thigh hard. Lift up, combre. Pull up into your front leg. Bring the leg from back to front. Open arm again, deep breath in, circular pull of bra on the side. Sweep the arms, sun, back, around. One more time. Transfer. Deep breath in. Exhale out, sweeping forward. Sun. Back. Around. Well done. Transfer onto your front leg. Spiral energy up towards the ceiling. Toe to bottom. Knee to knee. Lengthen out that quad. Find that spot to focus on. Well done. And final time, stepping back to your plies. Again, breathing, plie down and stretch. We're about to take the pace up just a little bit. This is an active stretch after all. Demi plie and stretch. And last time, well done, hover and hold it. This time, add your foot of bra to each transfer. Lengthen that waist. Good, up and over, lengthen the waist. And final time. Up and over and lengthen. Good. From here, I'm going to turn to face side on. Planting the back heel down, stretch out into that calf, keep the hips forward, and just gently massage into that lower spine with your thumbs, actively pushing those shoulders back to open the chest. Good. Lengthening out. If you feel comfortable with this stretch, elongate the arms. So the chest forward as the arms go back. Chin goes spirals, deeper stretch into that calf, into that Achilles. Then transfer the weight onto your back leg, lift the front toe up, and really stretch into this calf and Achilles. If you can, reach down and draw those toes back towards you. Elongate the head to the opposite wall, and then transfer the weight one more time, up and over. Try and sandwich your upper body to your lower, before you step the back leg to lunge, and again, energy out to the top of the head. I'm going to hold it here. If this is enough for you, stick with this. Or come with me and lower the back knee and take the hands to the front thigh. Hips and press forward. Well done, stretching into this hip flexor, into this quad. Elongate those hands. Stretch them up towards the ceiling, arching backwards if you can. Then hands either side of your front leg and step it back. Any problems with the wrists here, people, we can go down to our forearms. If you're in the full plank, we're going to hold it here for four counts, then rock forward and back, hold for four, three, two, one, rock forward and back. So we're activating our triceps here, rock forward, head goes past the hand and back. Again, hold, nice and strong, forward and back, well done. Slightly different, now I'm going to bend the knees and drop the hips towards the screen. Stretch across those glutes, don't touch the floor with the bottom, and back to centre. Final time, second side. Stretch across the glutes, this time continue the hips down to the floor, and swing the legs all the way around. Come in to sit tall, at the edge of your mat, spiral the energy up towards the ceiling, take the outer arm to the inner knee. We're going to press inwards, our head tall to the ceiling, Equal pressure between your inner arm and outer knee, pushing outwards, pushing inwards, firing up those duchess, those lower abdominals. Hold four, three, two, one. Well done. Now stepping back towards your hands, just 
just going to press the chest up to the ceiling and then increase the stretch. You can put one foot over your supporting leg. Actively push the ski out to the side while lifting the chest skywards. If you want to go one face further, lift those hips. Push up, head goes back. Engaging the muscles of the lower back, the arms, the glutes, and lower down. Second side, press the chest to the ceiling one more time. If you wish, add the leg, push the knee open. One face further, hips go upwards. Tabletop if you can, head goes back. Hold four, hold three, hold two, hold one. Well done, lower down. Flat to both feet, and this time as you extend the legs outwards, come to the first position and lower back down into your elbows. Still keeping this chest lifted towards the ceiling. Can you place the leg closest to the screen in fifth position over the upstage leg? We're going to flex this foot back and give me four wrong back moves. Wrong back moves is a throw of the leg, then squeeze those adductors to close. One pity down the pay, and then engaging our core, we're going to take both legs off. So back on and squeeze, up and close, four times. Here's our last one. Take a pity down the pay, draw the toe to the knee, and extend. Now can you draw the underneath leg up? A sangle in mid-air. Well done. From here, lower your leg to the floor. Can you release the hand and reach past your calf? Well done, engaging that core, flex the top foot. Grab power behind the back knee and gently lower this leg down towards your chest. Well done. Now creating a little bit of resistance. Coming up, push into your hands, push the leg away. We hold, we hold. That resistance into the muscle helps with the stretch. It'll go another inch now. If you release it off, then come towards you. Well done, stretching down to the floor. Take hold of what you can, whether it's your inner calf, your thigh, or right down to your ankle. Counterbalance with the opposite arm to second. Stretch into those adductors, then release the leg and round all the way back through your first. Send the leg past the supporting leg. With the opposite hand to leg, stretch into that cross back stretch. Then bringing this leg up through the tube in passe. Well done, extend, come up, back to elbows and replace. Second side, four back moms. Releasing the hamstring gently, at a level that's comfortable for you. Point the toe, pitching down the peg, draw the toe to knee and extend. Now keeping the chest lifted, can you join your second leg, engage your core. Well done, hold and hold it there. Release your underneath leg. If you can, release those arms from the floor. Then flex your top foot, grab hold of your calf and gently draw it down towards your body on your exhale breath. Good, resisting into that hand, push, push, push away. Putting tension to the muscle helps the release. Keep that resistance on and then let it go. Exhale breath, lengthen out. Then taking the same hand as leg, ankle if you can, calf in a thigh, counterbalance with the opposite arm to second. Well done, continue this round all the way back down. As you pass your supporting leg, bend at the knee, cross back, stretch. Turn the leg in the opposite direction to the head. Well done, back to turn out to the tiering. Extend both legs to first, arms to bra bar. Peel up the way you came down in reverse. Hover, hold here for four, three, two, and one. And finally, bend the elbows and rock onto the front one. As you rock onto the front elbow, draw the back toe in towards the bottom. If you want to push and lengthen out behind you, that feels good. Stretch and hold. Lengthen out towards your top corner. Good, stretch across those deep abdominals. Then rock back onto your elbow, swing to the opposite side, send the toe in towards the bottom, reach towards the back corner. If you want, give that leg a little extra help, push it around the corner. Reaching up to the top of the room. Well done. Rolling back, this time can you take this leg from parallel to turn out, come to sit tall, corner bra, arms to second. Take a big corner bra up and over. Grab the toes, draw the arm up above you to fit. Can you look through that elbow, stretching into the hamstring, into the calf, into the adductor, then in the reverse, pyramid with this hand behind you. Swing hips forward and again, reach towards the back corner of the room, stretching across these hip flexors. 
Well done. Recover, draw this leg in underneath, and take a big quadra up to fifth position. Breath in, exhale out, and sweep. Fingertips come forward, reach to me, head comes down. Good, so we're stretching deep into our gluteal muscles here. Reaching the fingertips forward. Walk the hands back towards the body. Extend the alternate leg and sit up tall. Again, big pull de bra. Flex the toes back. Look through the top elbow. Try and bring this rib cage forwards. Good. Breath in. Breath out. Good. Pair with the hand behind you and sweep this arm up and push. Hips come forward. Reach towards the top corner of the room. And on the recovery, just cheat slightly. We're going to bring this leg, cross leg it again, but turn to face the side. Pull around those arms up to fifth, and sweep forward one more time. So eventually we're flattening this upper body all the way down to our shins. Drop the head to the floor. Good, hold it there. For four, three, two, and one. And then slide the legs out in front of you. So, reversing this plank work, send the chest high. And if you can, either hold it here or we're going to add four little hip dips. So we're going to lower the bottom, push and lift. Lower, push and lift. Squeeze the bottom tight. Each time you lift, hold the final one. Well done. And this time as you lower, bend the elbows. Stack one leg on top. Again, let's back on our second side. Lift and cross. Four times. Here comes our depth of head. On the second side, if you did the first side, see if you can release that underneath leg, a soft leg in mid air. Well done, release that lower. If you did before, can you release those hands, reach past the calf? Fantastic. Flex the toes back. Grab this leg and gently work it down towards your body. Again, create a bit of resistance. Resist the leg into hand. Deep breath in. And on the exhale out, we should go another inch. Stretching down, flattening that leg to your lower, your upper body. Then taking hold of the leg, at the calf, the ankle, the thigh, whatever is good for you, open a la seconde. Good. Sweep this leg past your supporting leg. As you pass, bend the knee, cross back, stretch. Lower that knee to the floor, press it gently down, and reach in the opposite direction to me, then out to passe, drop that knee sideways. Extend the leg to first, bring the arms to brava. Again, roll up the same way you came down, and lift, suspending it here, engaging those abdominals, then bend the elbows, rock back, second leg, flex that foot, and back one, four times. Keep lifted through the chest, lift and cross. Well done, we're nearly there. Draw that toe to the knee. I said it was an active stretch. I meant it. A sombre leg. Hold that leg in the air. Again, chest is lifted. Engage that core. Release the leg. If you can, release those arms, reaching out past the thigh. And flexing that foot up. Grab hold of that calf, gently lowering down. Leg to body. Good, squeezing it in. And then come up, resist, resist, resist into that leg. And finally, releasing it off. Deepen that stretch. Take hold of what you can. I'm going for heel, open to a la seconde. Counterbalance with that arm out to the side. And release as this leg runs and passes. Stretch it down to the floor, opposite knee, cross back stretch. Open the leg out. High Ritiro Passe. Well done. Extend the legs, arms to Brava. Peeling up. Peeling up a little higher. Hop and hold it here. And again, bend at those elbows one more time. Rock onto your front elbow out. Stretch. Swing and reach to your top corner. Press that leg back and enjoy that stretch. Lengthen from fingertips to the end of your kneecap. And rock back. Second side, rock onto that elbow and increase that stretch. Lengthen out towards the top arm, push back if that feels good. And on the recovery, come to sitting, turn this leg from parallel to turn out. This time, we're going for full stretch if we can, sit up tall at an angle that's comfortable with you, take a breath in and walk it out with me. Take it forward, if that's enough for you, stick there. If you can, Walk it down to your forearms. 
And if you can, walk it down a little lower. Flatten that body, we'll get there together, don't worry. This is a stretch, this is a workout you can do daily. And over on our sleep bag, fit us out, we have hundreds more. Walking back. Well done, just release off those legs. And one more time, come to your cross-legged position and take your pull of bra. Lengthen out that spine right through to the top of the head. One more time, brush those arms out in front of you. Stretch deep into those glutes. Find a little bit of impetus. Any problems with your knees, just come up however is comfortable for you. If you're coming with me, rock gently forward. Uncross the ankles. Step back and reposition yourself to your plank. Again, holding strong in that tummy before we send the bottom high and press the heels to the floor and stretch into those calves. So send one leg up to the ceiling. Now this doesn't have to be high, it's about the supporting leg, the heel pressing to the floor. Bend the knee, let the leg drop to the side so the hips are opening but the shoulders stay square. Deep abdominal stretch. Come back, full ponche stretch. Lower that leg, second side, brush, go to ceiling and lengthen. Bend at the knee, then full sideways, open up into those hips. And straighten up to the ceiling. Well done. As you rock back onto your plank, this time we're right back to the top of our sequence. Again, any problems with your wrists, please come down to your elbows. Right how we started today, find your plank position. Hold it here for four, three, two and one, rock forward and back. Again, hold four, three, two, one, rock forward and back. Twice more, we're so nearly there. Feeling strong, rock forward and back. Last time, hold it strong. Send the weight past the hands to really tone the upper back and arms. Now bend the other hip, drop the hips towards the screen. Manipulate into that lower back, nice mobilization. And I stretch across the glutes. And same thing, drop the hips to the alternate side. This time, as you come up, step the upstage leg. And let's come up exactly the same way we came down on the second side in reverse. Lower the knee, hands to your front thigh. Now you can either stick here or interlace those hands. Stretch up towards the ceiling. Chest goes forward, eyes go up. And then hands either side of your front thigh. Good. Shorten the back leg. Sandwich the upper body to the lower. And then transfer the weight onto the back foot. Lift the front toes up towards your shin. Now if you can, reach down. Grab those toes and gently draw them back. And then transferring the weight. Exact reverse of how it came down. Stretch into that calf. Big quarter de bras, stretch up. Little combo back. And release those arms right back to where we began. A little massage into that lower back. Thumbs into that secondary leg joint. Take a big quarter de bras to the side. The world's are coming back to second. Where we started today, demi plie. Good. Stretch for two. And arms to open fifth. Drop those shoulders and recover. Drop those shoulders and recover. And this time I'll transfer full pull of bras each time. Up and over and stretch. Up and over and stretch. Well done, final one. We're going to repeat this pull of bras sequence we took from the top. This time just singles, nice and fluid, forward pull of bras. Come back and open. Transfer onto your front leg, drop your arm open, circular port de bras, side, back and round, transfer onto your front leg, wrap around, round the toe, energy towards the ceiling, this is the second time through this port de bras sequence, can we go for a deeper stretch, arm comes forward, keep the foot into the back hand, well done, step back into your demi plie, and demi, and stretch. Up and lower. Up. Big pull of bra. Up and over to the side. Stretch and lengthen. Stretch and lengthen. And final time. Up and over. Take your fuete turn. Our same pull of bra seems from the start of class. A little bit more fluidy now. No hold, no stopping. Breathe through it. Feel classical, feel gorgeous. Lift up. 
transfer, open the arm, deep breath in, circular program, body goes forward, and then you're circling these arms around the body, great for shaping our waist, taking every corner of the room, transfer, knee to knee, toe to bottom, squeeze, lift the energy towards the ceiling, and if you can this time, let's progress together, send the foot back into the hand, stretch forward, press into this stretch, Bring the arms to Brahma, lift the heels, long length and sleek legs, pulling up through every muscle fibre we've just worked. Keep a lift from the top of the head as you lower those heels. Keep that length, keep that strength, keep that poise, keep that posture for the rest of the week. Well done, everybody. You did it. <laughs> Work. really good to pop this down. Ah, thank you so much everybody. Thank you for everybody who stuck with me on Instagram. It's lovely to see you all there. Thank you for the waves <laughs> and people on YouTube too. I've got two cameras going here so I'm looking at everybody and taking everybody in um, but thank you. That sleek active stretch is something we do quite regularly over on our Sleep Ballet Fitness app along with our very popular Sleep Ballet Boot Camp and Full Ballet and Body Workouts which everybody loves so much. Sleek has long been a champion of Sweaty Betty and they are doing an amazing job with all this free workout content um, during lockdown. Thank you for having me on. Do come over and see us on the Sleep Valley Fitness app too. And for all Sweaty Betty customers, we are still doing our SB50, capital S, capital B, 50 for a 50% off on Sleep Valley Fitness membership for a month. Um, it'll be lovely to see some of you there. Thank you for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your evening. Take care. Good night.